what you need to do is navigate to Yammer. Let's just say you, I want to create a SharePoint community of practice. So I'm going to click create a community. And uh, there are a few questions you need to answer. First, the name of the community. Let's just say we want SharePoint community of practice. You can provide a description so everyone knows what it's for. You can add members. By the way, you can add members later. All right, let's not worry about it. Very important, this section below. Let me explain to you what this means. Two questions you need to answer. One, whether this community will be internal or external. Internal, of course, is just for your employees. External, that means, you, you know, anyone, they can become part of this community. And then whether it's public or private. Here, if I, let's say, private, as the owner of the this community, I have to let you in. So for this particular one, if I want it to be public, right? Uh, there is really nothing confidential here. We're just exchanging SharePoint tips. So hit create and that's it.